This program is sponsored by Jagdamba Steel. उत्कृष्ट गुणस्तर प्रति को प्रतिबद्धता एन एस अवार्ड दुई हजार पंद्रह सम्मानित Dear friends, Namaste. Very warm welcome in Business Television's special show, BTB Business. Today we have one special guest with a very innovative concept startup, Just My Roots. is Indian based company trying to provide a very organic food and foods to different cities and different consumers with a fresh flavor and chilled position today we welcome you samran sen gupta the founder and ceo of just my roots welcome to this thank you very much would you please tell me about uh, your concept your startup what you are doing yeah, absolutely uh, just my roots was set up basically to connect people back to their roots you see people have moved out from their homes call it work call it education call it marriage people have been moving right so we call them the floating population this organization was placed just to connect back those floating population to their roots right so we do it through food there are a lot of other ways to do it food is the fastest connect whenever you see some food which reminds you back of your mother or your city or your country that's the fastest connect so we started that off and in fact uh, you know we identified that nobody till date has been doing fresh food across cities mm-hmm. they're doing frozen food they're doing uh, food in a different form but we prefer sending the mother's food fresh to the kid so that they can enjoy and they can understand what they have been missing so that's the connect okay uh, you are in a best company and uh, india itself is a very big country in terms of territory so how can you provide a fresh fruit or foods from one place to another is very long in distance very good point you see today there are many companies who are doing this but they're doing it hot warm in 15 between 5 and 10 kilometers space okay. what we do is so our organization is basically as i said is a technology and supply chain organization we have a very specific kind of packaging mm-hmm. which keeps all the food fresh all the all the uh, perishable food fresh between 5 and 8 degrees centigrade so what happens is at that temperature so we have food technologists who works very closely with us packaging experts work very closely with us most of our packaging comes from uh, outside the country some ca- some of them comes from israel okay what we do between 5 and 8 we maintain the we maintain the moisture in the food and that's what misses most of the time yeah our people just need to take that food open it up from our packing heat it up and eat it okay so uh, can you tell me about your uh, whole in five stacks are are your channels how you can work how can provide this because uh, initially is okay you can provide but uh, if there is a overcrowded demand how can you manage these things very good question very good question so we are currently operating out of 13 cities in india okay and all of these are major metros and tier 1 cities we plan to also go to the tier 2 and tier 3 cities we operate mostly through our partners right our partners like for example we have we have a partner in spicejet spicejet helps us carry all our products from one city to the other and they are one of our best partners in terms of you know carrying the food from one place to the other uh, we also have partners in terms of delivery mm-hmm. for example if there are 500 to 1000 orders to be delivered in suddenly in 2 hours time or 3 hours time it's our delivery partners that come into place yeah and all of them go out together to start do the delivery uh it is very important for us that people get the food within a specific time extremely important because they wait for the food to come whether they will be having it for lunch or having it for dinner so we have to maintain the timing as well so maintaining the right kind of partnerships helps us take things from one place to the other and and we are not very worried in terms of the number of orders increasing overcrowding of orders 
a demand's increasing because we have set up our hubs accordingly so that it can quickly we have taken people so our team has very experienced people people with 15 to 25 years of experience in terms of because you see though it's a startup this is hardcore supply chain and that knowledge and or technology and that knowledge can only come when you have been in the industry for long so our team our partners all of them together ensure that we are able to handle this business well so uh, if you see uh, in world scenario the more than 90 95% of startups have their failure ratio yes and initially they talk in a big voice in a loud voice but uh, after some time certain time they cannot manage and fade out so how can you justify or you can assure your customer or your business partners that you can sustain in that way uh, you can pass through amazing very good question in fact the percentage is 99% it fails yeah. so it's one person and we believe yeah. the model that we are working on uh, will we will will be part of that one person simple reason being if you go by the name just my roots it never says that it's an indian just my roots or it's a nepalese just my roots or is it filipino just my roots mm-hmm. it can be anybody's just my roots so which basically means that there is a wide scope of expansion mm-hmm. not only in one country but in multiple countries when i come into when we come into nepal this company come then nepal becomes my roots right so all the nepalese people within nepal or outside nepal the connection is my responsibility mm-hmm. so when you start connecting people see we are still in not in the age of robots people will still need connection back to their life mm-hmm. right so what we will do is we'll ensure and and i started by saying that we will be working for the floating population mm-hmm. you know with the recent uh, all the research we have a research team all the researches that we do we have found out that by 2025 25 27 one third of world population will be floating mm-hmm. yeah. so you can imagine the potential that this project has mm-hmm. and honestly we create relationship every transaction that happens is a connection to the heart mm-hmm. not that i'm looking for a discount to buy something yeah. so if you are in for example if you have be, if you have gone to any city of the country in india or in any other city and you can still get your food coming back from your home mm-hmm. that's a massive connect okay. so we believe that the potential the, the the project model that the business model that we have and the potential that the business has next 10 years i don't think i can raise my head also there's so much of work mm-hmm. so we believe that we should be able to pass through this yes sir uh, of course uh, people uh, may be willing to get their uh, own homes food uh, but there is a, another tradition that uh, people prefer to have junk foods like uh, you know, different uh, chains are their restaurant chains uh, and they may prefer that uh, so does your model uh, apply for every people or? good question so i uh, so this just my roots model works on the concept that we will take you back to the tradition it is possible junk food will handle but it's a traditional junk food mm-hmm. not the normal junk food that you get in the market okay. of course you see today's chefs today's mothers everybody is so well well uh, accustomed to the cooking part and and as well people are so innovative they will make such great fusion food out of your traditional food that you may not really need to have those junk foods it's the problem was till now they never had an option to reach there if we can make an opportunity for people to get those traditional foods out and give it to them maybe they'll slowly come out of the junk food okay let me take a short break uh, yes, we are talking with uh, samir and san gupta the founder and ceo of uh, just my roots is a new concept uh, brought from india but it, uh, it's going to be global so we'll take a short break and we'll get back to you This program is sponsored by Jagadamba Steel 
उत्कृष्ट गुणस्तर प्रति को प्रतिबद्धता एन एस अवार्ड दुई हजार पंद्रह सम्मानित Welcome back viewers. We are in the maid of uh, business televisions special show BTV Business and we have a very special guest as well in terms of concept they have brought a very special concept to make every uh, we can say movers uh, to get their home sport and a home sport or whatever they have in their home they can get in another city. So just my route is the just my roots is a new concept in market uh, being brought in nepal as well and the founder of uh, uh, this company uh, samiran san gupta founder and ceo is here with us let me welcome him him again so welcome back thank you thank you so in the day today people we call some ultra modern new generation they want to get rid of their family they want to get rid of their tradition they want to get rid of their traditional food or whatever we call family food home food like that so can your product change their habit or you are just looking for the fulfilling the demand of who want that very good question so let me take you back to some of my experiences in india yeah. uh you know we are currently doing 2 to 3 days in a week certain cities okay in today's world people want to place an order and within 30 minutes call up and find out where is my food exactly right and if the food is not arriving in 30 minutes i don't need the food cancel the ticket i don't want it for us people call our customer service and they ask i hope my food is coming thank you very much for getting me that food mm-hmm. we are changing slowly it's a, it's going to be a revolution but it will take its time we are slowly changing the food habits of people okay. like for example uh, and and since we have not still not you know established in in nepal i'll give some examples of india we are getting products from india which people have only thought of okay, okay? or if they visit a city they might be able to get today they are placing orders sitting at their home for example they are sitting in bangalore and they are placing an order uh, they are they are sitting in bang they are sitting in bangalore and they are placing an order from calcutta they are placing an order from jaipur they are placing an order from uh, uh, lucknow from delhi and all of these products are going together think about it why will he need to look into something else if he can get those products the problem was till date there was no access to those products mm-hmm. so we are trying to improve that it's not going to happen in a single day it will be a revolution it just takes its own time but we believe that we may be able to bring people back to their traditional food and that's what i feel somewhere inside you you are still connected with your tradition mm-hmm. let's bring that you know trigger that and get that back okay frankly speaking in some cases the should not uh, tell like that but uh, in a rural way they are cooking or the processing food is not in a hygienic way mm-hmm. and uh, you are taking back to the that way that uh, may not be hygienic as well that's a good question you see the way of cooking was not hygienic so give them a hygienic situation mm-hmm. they will still cook mm-hmm. it's about giving them giving them the opportunity to cook in that hygienic situation we have great plans around that space which i am unfortunately not able to share right now mm-hmm. because they confidential plans but we believe that we'll be able to give hygienic situations hygienic environment for people to cook so that this question doesn't come back again but yes that will work out okay so uh, there are different food habits even uh, if you go to europe uh, uh, they want to be like uh, sorts sort so it's move they don't want to take anything just one card and they want to pass they want to eat they want to throw they don't want to take any head headache head. so uh, there are different food habits and there are uh, there are different cultures so you are more over focus in this asian culture or you want to expand some more well you know we are doing some testing around the asian culture right now we believe the company is growing evolving 
we will evolve. We will try to bring in the trends which are going on around mm -hmm. and try to create a fusion between what is modern and what is tradition. Right. So when we when so in our plans we do have to we do have plans to go to Europe because we have certain time limits for the food to remain fresh. We have not yet thought about US, but Europe is there. So once the the things uh, the shape up well, we will be doing some trials over there, and I'm sure our plans will also evolve from there. Okay. Let's uh, get more deep into your modality. Sure. Uh, can you tell me the meaning of just my roots? Good one. So it's all about, so if you see our logo, our logo shows a bigger hand of a tree and a smaller hand of a bush or a maybe a smaller, smaller tree. It's always that stretch that I'm trying to reach my roots. Unfortunately, I'm not able to do it. But can somebody help them do that connection? As I said, there are many ways to do it. Emotional ways, there are, you know, many ways. Food gives a very good connect. So the meaning of this company is everywhere trying to say, hey, that's my root. Let me go back to my root. Let me connect to my root. So, and that root can be anybody's root to anywhere. For example, if I am in Singapore tomorrow, I mean, whenever we are, we are in Singapore or in China, or in, uh, in Shanghai, for example, then Shanghai has people from India, Nepal, uh, you know, Bangladesh, you can talk about uh, Europe. So for them, they might get the food, local food also over there. But if they have to connect back to their roots, there are certain things that will, they will never get there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, We will definitely come and bring them up over there. Right. Now, uh, so the whole thought process around that space is, mm -hmm. how do I ensure I get that there? Okay, in terms of cost, uh, one thing is uh, your own management cost, uh, which uh, ultimately passes over to the consumer. And another thing is uh, the preservation, co preservation cost, because if you don't preserve in uh, temperature live, even in Mumbai, in, even in, in so South India, sometimes it goes to 45 degrees centigrade. And um, if you think about giving them in 10 hours, it will must be gone. So how you can freeze out the food and what would be the cost uh, overheading? You know, we, so people order food from favorite restaurants, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. So somebody in Bangalore asking for a restaurant in Calcutta okay. or some other places. You know? So we pick it up from there. It goes through our packaging process, mm -hmm. our cold chain, and it reaches the customer over there. Right? Why did we must also ask this question to ourselves. Why didn't anybody else uh, have tried this before? Mm -hmm. Yeah, You go to the big names, for example, FedEx, DHL. Yeah. Yeah. You go to them and they said, we don't do fresh, we don't do fresh food. We, we don't do perishable food. Mm -hmm. right? There's a reason behind it. Okay. We have been able to crack that myth. Okay. So we had to, so we had, uh, you know, in our initial stage, we spent more than a year in R&D only to crack that myth first. Okay. So we had to A, find a solution to keep it preserved mm -hmm. without adding any preservative. That's our first point. So how, how, how you are so doing? That's I'm coming to that. That's one. So what, what were the challenges in front of us? First mm -hmm. was to preserve it. Second was how long? Third, what is the cost? Mm -hmm. This is what the point. So cost was the biggest factor being India and why India? Everywhere else cost will be a factor. So yes, we have been able to solve this through a very specialized packaging of ours, mm -hmm. which, is, which basically keeps the food between 5 and 8 degrees centigrade and maintains the product very well. Through our special packaging, we keep the food fresh and chilled for more than 24 hours, which is unheard of till date, mm -hmm. without you know using expensive equipments and stuff. So by that, we have been able to reduce the cost significantly. But definitely, my cost or the just my roots cost will be far more, at least, you know, that will be uh, about 20, 30% more than what is the price actually at that restaurant. But but I had gone through your website and I found that uh, uh, for 2 kg mango like that, uh, around 500, 600 Indian rupees, 
uh, which can be bought in any fruit shop in 100 rupees per kg and you are selling into 150 rupees means uh, people should pay double is that so the thing is very good point not only that you'll see not only the mangoes if you would have seen some other fruits they are also quite expensive over mm -hmm. there yeah. the thought process is if i had to have those mangoes you know sitting in bangalore or in delhi they all come from a different city mm -hmm. if i had to have it there's no other way i had to fly down or go by train, go there, bring it back. Mm -hmm. That's only how I can have that mangoes. So the question is, here I'm going to take a flight mm -hmm. or take a train, mm -hmm. take out all the time in my world and then go and reach there, which is two days, three days, four days, I don't know. Okay. Or I pay 150 rupees more and get the product here. Mm -hmm. It's a question of convenience. Okay. Right? So people like mangoes were our highest selling product last three months. Mm -hmm. Because people know if I have to eat it, I don't mind paying that 150 bucks, really speaking. Okay. So that's that's how I'll place it, actually, you know. It means people are ready to pay Absolutely. additional money. Absolutely. That's congratulations for you. At least people are ready. Then That's good. Uh, can you tell me about your penetration till now? How many customers or users or whatever subscriber you have and how is their feedback? Okay, so let me try and place it this way. We have, as I said, we are present in 13 cities. Okay, We're having some airport projects coming up, which we'll talk later. Uh, we expect, so right now, we have been working mainly on the supply chain and the technology, bringing all that place in place. Mm -hmm. However, we believe that uh, we would be, we, we are currently at a 15, 20,000 number in terms of the customers because these are special customers and and the if i if i tell you my per order cost is about 10 times bigger or larger than any smaller orders that you see on the road okay. because when somebody is ordering they're ordering for many things at the same time because they get a one-stop shop there mm -hmm. all kinds of food they also get fish chicken mutton and all that stuff over there mm -hmm. so everything comes together as well as with the sweets and a few other things so uh, our penetration right now 13 we have we have just started building the team well the supply chain team we believe that we'll be in about 40 cities by the end of uh, 2020 okay. so uh, we are almost about to conclude our interview um, would you please uh, summarize your saying uh, your immediate plan to nepal and immediate execution plan which you are thinking from your just my rules. Fantastic. So, um, you know, uh, I'm, I'm glad that you gave me an opportunity to speak about it. Um, I think Nepal has a lot of opportunities, a lot of potential out here. Mm. It's about bringing that country, the things out from there and taking it somewhere else. I mean, let others also enjoy what you Nepalese, uh, the Nepalese people enjoy out here, right? Mm. The rich heritage that you have out here. So food is the starting point that we would, in future, not only be in food, but also in other things, because we make it much easier for people to reach. Okay. Right. In terms of the country, we are like we are, we are planning, we are, we are big time planning to go into some of the airports, very renowned airports. Okay. And I'm not taking away the uh, thought process. I cannot name the airports right now. The airport means what? So what will happen is we will have kiosks or, or, or units at the airport. And people can actually order for food much before in advance. Mm. The thing that they want. So travelers, travelers. Okay. So within the airport, they can order. Outside the airport, okay. before they even come into the airport, okay. we generally keep it around the departure. Okay. So, say for example, you have come to Nepal and you're leaving. Okay, okay. you're not an, you're a tourist. Think about it. You have more than uh, almost a million tourists coming into the airports okay. of Nepal. Right. right. Yeah. Think about it. They can't explore the country properly. Right. If there is somewhere which, which tells them, hey, from this city of Nepal, this is the best food. This is what you should take. This is what you should take. They will order all of that and leave it. When they are leaving Nepal, our team will hand over a packet to them. They'll carry it. Think about how I'm going to improve the economy out here around that space. 
in the country in india as i said we are going into about 40 cities and we are we have started trials in three international locations okay. we hope to reach a uh, little more than that by 2020 okay thank you very much for you appreciate it thanks for your time we as we try to explore just my roots which is uh, a new future being introduced in nepal and uh, somewhat innovative in concept somewhat uh, innovative in terms of uh, the delivery chain they are trying to maintain and another thing is somewhat uh, the emotional connection to their family as well thank you very much for your time and uh, encouraging us to do some creative jobs thank you bye thank you. This program is sponsored by Jagadamba Steel Utkrishta Gunastar Pratiko Pratibaddhata NS Award 2015 Bata Sammanit